Hey people, this is Johnny from lofi.com. I've been designing and making this tiny wood burning stove, forced air wood, wood gas stove for the last two years. Um, it's designed for backpackers and through hikers uh, to enjoy on the trail and it's run off like solid biofuel so you can use uh, wood pellets, any sticks that you find on the trail, charcoal, anything like that that burns. Um, it weighs just under 150 grams and I've had quite a lot of interest on Instagram and hopefully soon I will be on Kickstarter where you can uh, help support me and you can buy one of these. Um, this is just a quick video to show people how much fuel is required to boil a litre of water. I've been asked that a few times um, and I don't really know the answer so I'm here to try today. Um, I'm going to try probably just over a handful of wood pellets. So this is soft wood wood pellets. It's um, sold here in the UK as cat litter. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's just compressed sawdust really. I'm gonna try, I don't know, this is 87 grams of wood pellets and see how, see how I get on with that. So put those in. Um, I'm gonna just speed up the lighting process by using a little bit of alcohol. Um, put a few squirts of that in. That's not even really coming out. So that's that's a squirt. A few of those in and uh, set fire to it. So hopefully that's lit. So this stove um, forces air through the fire and to do that we use your battery bank that you take with you uh, to charge your phone overnight. Um, so this one here will give you I think five hours continuous use on high power and just plug it into the bottom here uh, to get it going. So yeah. I think that's lit. It's hard to tell with alcohol. Cool. So let's Put a litre of water into the pan. I'm going to start the timer as well, just because it's good, good to know how long these things are taking. Um, yeah. So sorry about the sound quality here. Um, I'm in Bristol and uh, here in the UK on Bristol Channel, we've got one of the largest, highest um, tidal ranges in, in the world. And I didn't think to check the tidal forecast to see where the, where the sea was today. And it's right up in front of us. So sorry about that. You've got a bit of wind noise. And, and waves. Uh, yeah, there's maybe. I didn't have the battery pack on. Not a great start. Uh, it's going now. Yeah, it's maybe 10 mile an hour winds here today, so it's quite a good, a good test for the stove really. Um, because of the design, by having the the fan inside it, it actually seems to work very, very well in the wind. Um, yeah, I've used it in very windy conditions and because it's pressurised from the inside uh, it doesn't seem to affect it too much. Not like you would with gas or alcohol stoves, so it's a real bonus for it. Um, cool, just going to check that that's going. Yeah, we've got a little flame in there now, so that should, that should slowly catch. The, um, the boil times really do depend on how well you light the fire in at the beginning. Um, yeah, so it's quite hard to just do a, a boil test. I might do a I might do a time test when I've got a good fire burning inside and then putting the litre on just to see how long that takes. And I'd imagine it'll be about six or seven minutes, I guess. I don't know. We get an idea, I guess, from, from what happens today on this video.
So we're four minutes in and I can hear that the fire's just starting to kick in properly now. So yeah, we've got a good bit of flame going on. So I guess that means, depending how you light the fire, you can expect it to take about five minutes to get really hot. Uh, if you use light twigs and things like that, you're going to get a fire much quicker. Um, yeah, bits of bark or kindling, but uh, at the same time, I guess that will be a trade-off of how quick the, the fire burns out. So, yeah, I'm still learning on this and uh, I can't wait for you guys to get hold of it and actually yeah, give me some feedback and tell me how, how quickly you can get a fire going in it or yeah, what kind of burn times you get, how long it takes you to boil a, a litre of water, what fuels you find work well in it. Um, yeah, it's all really new, so really looking forward to getting some feedback from you guys. Just starting to get some tiny bubbles in the bottom there. So a good long way of boiling yet. The sun's coming out. Okay, so we're just over seven minutes. Have a little peek inside. Yeah, we're starting to get bubbles and a little bit, little bit of steam going on now. And uh, let's have a look what's going on in here. So yeah, we've got a really good burn going on. Really clean. What's great about the forced air stove is that you get a very efficient burn of the wood. Um, so it doesn't soot the bottom of the pan up quite as badly as you get um, if you just have a pan on an open flame you'll know like the whole pan will be covered in this really fine black soot um, what's great about this is you you tend not to get that it's much more efficient you get a more complete burn so we just turned eight minutes now So we're just coming up to the 10 minute mark and I can hear the pots just starting to um, just starting to boil in there. So we're yeah. Yeah, lots of steam. Lots of steam and it's I can see it moving around. Great, so that's 10 minutes. And we're not quite a rolling boil, but we're just starting to boil now. Back on. I think perhaps if I'd started the fire a little bit better, it got off to quite a slow start and I um, I actually forgot to plug the, get the battery pack turned on right at the very beginning, if you remember. So yeah, not ideal. That's 11 minutes there and it's starting, that's a, <laughs> that's a rolling boil now. Uh, yeah, just got 11 minutes. Okay, let me show you what's going on. So we've got a litre of water boiling away and uh, still a really good fire left. Um, so yeah, fantastic. That's uh, just under 80 grams of wood pellets and there's obviously plenty of plenty of fuel there to boil a litre of water perhaps we need less maybe I don't know 60 or 70 grams will probably do it be perfect cool enjoy